Hi, this is Jamie from Stonemeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about Kickstarter exclusives. Kickstarter exclusives are elements of a product that you offer to Kickstarter backers either for free as part of their pledge or for an additional cost, and then you don't offer them ever again. So it's only available during the Kickstarter campaign. This term is often mistaken or misused for another term, which is limited promos, which is when something is offered during the campaign and then after the campaign, it's offered for, for sale or conventions or for giveaways, things like that. But a true Kickstarter exclusive, the meaning of the term is that it is exclusive to Kickstarter backers during the campaign. Um, I'm gonna give you two reasons why I would recommend using limited promos, which is something that is not exclusive. You can make as many as you want, but, uh, but they are often limited in quantity. Um, and you can sell them during the campaign or after the campaign at a higher cost. I'm gonna exp explain why I think that is better than a Kickstarter exclusive. There are two objective quantitative reasons um, why you would not wanna use a Kickstarter exclusive. The first is that, like I said, you cannot sell it after the campaign. So even if you make the coolest component that has ever been created in a game and you label it Kickstarter exclusive and you want to sell it, say you even have extra copies to sell after the campaign, you cannot do that without betraying your backers, without going back on your promise of making it exclusive to your Kickstarter backers. So you might be sitting on a supply of 100 of these, of this awesome component, or you may want to make more of it because people want it. Thousands of people may want it, but you cannot do so. The second reason, um, is some data from a poll that I did of about a thousand people, a thousand Kickstarter backers, and I asked them after a campaign, after a Kickstarter campaign, if you discover a game in a game store and you love it, um, but you learn that there are Kickstarter exclusives for that game that you cannot get, 43% of people said that they wouldn't buy the game at all just because exclusives exist that they cannot get. Um, without going on eBay and say paying $300 for those those exclusive components. 43% um, is a lot of people. That's a, that's a huge percentage of people after a campaign who are just saying, I'm not gonna buy your game. Um, that's a huge portion of the market. So for those two reasons, uh, I would highly recommend using limited promos instead of Kickstarter exclusive. They're, they're much more inclusive, they give you a lot more flexibility, but they still offer something special to your backers uh, that, that might be harder to get later or might be available at a much higher price later directly from you or from other retailers. That's my recommendation. I know there are a lot of thoughts on Kickstarter exclusive, so I'd love to hear your thoughts um, on, my, on my Kickstarter lessons blog and the blog entries that I've written about Kickstarter exclusives or in the comments below. Thanks.